to four. Let's off the edge. Penix flushed. Penix goes. Assuming he can stay healthy once again. And he'll drop the throw on first down. And a little Michael Penix Jr. is back, and he's enjoying himself. Looking for a third down conversion here. And he squeezes it in to Adunza. You know, Bob, talking about that relationship, let's hit this, hit this replay real quick, right? You're going to see them. They go split one. ...program, so he's the son of a coach. Here comes the blitz on second down. Penix reaching out. One. Jalen Polk, another one of those number one wide... That motion and shifting for Washington to try and get a defense to tip their hand. A screen out to the edge, and that's diagnosed quickly. Jalen, the loss of a couple. Ooh-wee! Canijo comes up on Roman Doomsday and says, you better block, son. But off to a slow start. Play action here. Looking downfield. Doomsday double covered, so Penix gets what he can. Letting that set up the pass, they got to start getting back to that. Penix on the slant. Catching it is Jalen McMillan. Into the secondary. McMillan tripped up. For Washington. Penix looking at a four man rush. Well protected down the sideline. Incomplete. Hoping for Devin the upcoming draft. Second down and 10. Another four man rush. Well protected again. He's going to take another shot. This re time reaching back is a Dunza. Inside the 10. Gang tackled down. 26 yards. Wow, wow, wow. You're going to see Roma Dunze flying off the ball. What does he do that's so great? He sticks his foot in the ground. Only a three-man rush. Swing pass. Nothing, man. Penix bobbles the snap. Regains into the end zone. Touchdown. Washington has a one-point lead after a seven-play, 73-yard touchdown drop. Yeah, you're going to see it right here. Oh, bobble the snap. No panic. Just get up. And look at the patience from Jalen McMillan. Comes out. Oh. Somebody caught is right around the corner for him. Penix to throw. To the sideline. His dad is a running back coach for the New York Giants, and I bet you that made him proud. Penix on a rollout. Dirts the ball. Play action here. Screen is there. Devin caught the tight end with a flag down. And 15 near midfield for Washington. Penix Jr. Swings one at the scene and completed. You almost err on the side of just bodying him up with the ball. As you can see right here, Penix knew all along the field. He didn't really need to. He could have took some off of that. This guy was butt naked over. Third down at 15. He's going to take the same shot. Complete. Tram running deep in coverage as well to sandwich Bernard and knock it away. Yeah, and you see another play action pass. Penix, the check down, wide open Dylan Johnson, plenty of room to run, crosses the 50, lowers his shoulder. Play clock just about got to zero, Penix gets the snap off, takes a shot, Foreman, he's got it, A similar throw, three different times down the field, you watch McMillan set up both the corner and the safety. Play action. Well protected. He takes another shot to the sideline for a Dunzek on Tucker. Bob, I hope everybody at home is realizing just how special of a throw this is. Having his golf bag, and he's showing that off today. As all day takes another deep shot for Polk. Heads in to his arms. So you're going to watch. They've got it spread out five wide. Michael Penix Jr. right here, right here, watch. He's trying to get this safety. Penix with a fit to the sideline, incomplete. Let's check in with him. Only a three-man rush to the sideline. It's caught, but short of the first down, and now they'll say incomplete. Penix. Bullets one. To Michael Penix Jr. is managing the game today. The pass protection continues to be stellar. And now he's out of the pocket. Looking for some help. Throws it away. 
And take on the doorstep of the red zone. Play action again for Penix. And Penix has all four through the end. I want you to watch all these guys right here in the middle of the field. As this fake comes across, you're going to see Westover sneak right down the seam. But because they're so focused on that fake, that eye candy, they leave him wide open. I don't know if a guy can get any more. His own kind of quiet way of leading this team. He's back to work off four touchdown passes in the first half and finds Westover. Impacting his teammates and how we can give it back to them. NFL scouts, they love to see that from the leader of the team. Double pass. And the trick play is there for a We'll see where he is at the end of the season and on draft day. Scans the field wide open. This time he misses. Jalen Clark called for the hold. Yeah, and you're going to see Jalen Clark. It's not even about getting handsy here. He almost pulled Jalen McMillan's jersey instead of the touchdown yard. Penix again takes a deep shot down the rail. Watch Michael Penix here. Another play action fake with the movement in the pocket. Said the goal ball. And he showed us right there why it is. This time he goes back shoulder. A doozy. Swing pass to Dylan Johnson. And the college football playoff this year. Penix. Long throw to the sideline, throws it away. Relationship all the way to where they are right now. You have to want it, and he certainly did. Penix on third down. Adunze, third down for today. Adunze and Polk both over 100 yards now. Penix with a pump fake. Deep for Adunze. And this one a bit too. Blitz on the way. And it's protected. Throws it behind John. And Michael Penix Jr., as we speak, we'll see what May can do tonight. The seam of Dunze and Strzok. Lost the football. It's stripped out. There's a lined up behind Penix at the pistol. Play action for Penix. Finds the crosser. Making a man miss is Bernard. Still on his feet for the 22. And we're seeing these types of throws be the ones that NFL decision makers want to see a guy be able to make. He's over the lifetime of their program. Penix slings one to the sideline, a broken tackle for Jeremy Bernard. Catch and run of 27. This is what you like to see as a quarterback. Hey, I'm going to throw this five-yard hitch. Ooh, go ahead and throw. Going up against an offense like this. Penix, Dylan Johnson. And that time, a good. And I think they're trying to find out who their guys are going to be for the rest of the year. Blitz, they try to heat up Penix. And he beats it again. Vanejo made the stop. But the pass protection there, blitz pick up again. Yes. Very nice blitz pick up. You see this. Penix rolls out, looks downfield. The crosser is bust over. Oh, there you go. That's the left well, hand left hand that he sure. throws, just like Steve Young. Out of the pocket here, buying some time. And this time flips into the back of the end zone. Little Vic, little Steve Young. Two good comparisons, I think. Screen to McMillan. Looking for another touchdown. He's at the goal. Bernard there as well. McMillan in motion. Swing out his way. First touch to the 40 and more. Midfield. Down the sideline. Six play of the opening drive. It's Penix with the flip. Penix starts three for three. There's Odunze. Low snap. Penix picks it up and delivers into space. Polk out near midfield. Ready for a first down rep. From now out, McMillan slides down the side. Fourth down for Penix. He's got it. A ball fake. A spin move. Jack West over the motion man. Penix. Pump face. Shoots it. Incomplete for the flag. First quarter. The Sam Adams on his left hip. Penix. Has 
not miss until... With Nixon in motion, swinging out his way. Good starting at the 50. Penix hits the top of his drop. Extends the play. Off schedule throw is low and incomplete with flag. First down rep for Penix. Rush picked up. His throw. Picked off in the end zone. Zone take away. Middle of the second quarter. Penix to his tight end. Had it. Pulp in motion. Penix back to the air from a clean pocket. On time. On target. Romo do in their backfield here in week two. Penix. Perfect. Odunze could not get away from the ankle tackle clock. Penix against the blitz. Stands in. And caught. And in the end zone. Penix trying to make amends. Takes off. A baseball slide for second. Up set up two by two for second and four. Penix complete to the ten. Second and goal. Penix on the roll pulls up. Caught McMillan. Touchdown. Madunze crosses his face at the snap. Penix feeling it. Checks it down. Sam Adams goes to work. Penix with plenty of time. Another. Penix thought about going quick. Hangs in and delivers. McMillan in the middle of the field. Penix, top of his drop. Sets the laces. A leaping effort. They've been able to overcome with three first half touchdowns. Will Nixon out of the backfield. Odunze with some redemption. I like it. Penix calls for the snap. Off the play fake. Let's it go. McMillan. Oh, my. Still time to go get it. That one trailing smoke to the sidelines. In two timeouts. First things first. Penix hunting a first down. Clean platform. He drives the ball. In the 16 yard gain from empty. Penix survey. Slings it. McMillan caught it up. Tulsa recovers. Still going with the second takeaway of the game. Reggie Ellis Jr. And it's the quarterback. They can knock it loose. Nice pocket. Delivers a perfect ball. Yeah, it's Colton Smith right there, number eight. He punches it out with his right arm. And then Jack Westover, nobody takes him down. And then Washington is lucky here. This isn't a touchdown because it's a touchdown saving tackle from your quarterback, Michael Penix. To begin the first offensive drive of the third quarter, Penix pulls it out. Hits Culp, his tight end. Still going. Knocked out near midfield. Pocket five. Sinks to throw. Layers it in nicely. In the Tulsa Terry position on first down here. He gives. Pitch back to Penix. Loads and goes. That's a long dirt ball. He knew it wasn't that in motion there. Penix looking to that side. Oduze on the shallow cross. Busk is ready. Third down and five. Penix down to get the snap. Delivers. Converts on third down to Westover. Now from empty in the red zone. The southpaw sends it over the middle. He's in his backfield. And Bernard in motion. Bernard the target. Bernard puts it in. This, the personnel grouping doesn't have any of those elite receivers we reference. But it's got one that might be that. Two of 30 on his day. He's thrown for three touchdowns and over 300 yards. Back to the air again. In space, sitting down to make the catch. You're the only one who works out at 10. On two it is. Penix able to beat that. Sam Adams motions into the backfield. All pass plays so far in this second half for Penix. And that's just an extension of their running game. Get McMillan out and... Penix spins it again. 
Easy money to a doozy. But two touchdowns on this Tulsa defense in the third quarter. His first opportunity of the fourth. What a shot there. Getting better than nine yards per rep. Look at that wall up front that Penix has to step into and deal. Fits it in perfectly to the 22. With the trips to the wide side. Penix sees the blitz. Going to the end zone. Broken up in the red zone. McMillan in motion. Penix overshot. Week three Saturday. With his number eight Huskies on the road in East Lansing. First play. Wide open over the middle is complete to Jalen McMillan. And he slipped the tackle for a few more down to the 16-yard line. Really what happened is a late shift by the secondary of Michigan State. There's a corner route. And the backside corner, he should be playing three deep zone. But instead, so, here's the second offensive possession for Michael Penix Jr. to throw to the sideline over there near Rome Odunz. The money doesn't flinch. That, that's not easy. As a fellow lefty, I could tell you, I'd rather run to the left and do that than the right. Put the throw on. There he is on second down, right back to Odunze, and he's taken out of bounds. See how long this lasts. We'll get this one in the hands of Nixon with a full head of steam, and he's taken down for Washington. Penix. With time down the middle of the field, might be intercepted. It went. Well, Penix Jr., he's got time in the pocket, you see. Gets it out, gets his arm hit. I didn't see that live. So that's what affected the football game. So Michael Penix Jr. starting on the Spartan 44. Time downfield for Polk, and he got it. It's awesome. <laughs> he's from Vegas, he's a West Coast guy. And they dump it off here into the tight end, Jack Westover. And he makes his way into the end zone for a touchdown. From the five-yard line. Penix going to take a shot down the field looking for Odunze. And throw it deep, but how they do it? They're backed up. What do we do? Let's keep a bunch of people in the block. A seven-man protection so the quarterback feels comfortable. And then receiving yards last year, more than 1,100 of them. Penix open over the middle, Jalen Polk. And lefty's got some arm angles to work with, too. We've seen it on this drive. Penix, that one is batted in the air, and it's still a completion. Jalen Polk able to run underneath it and get all the way down for a touchdown. Jordan Hall does a great job getting a hand on it. Penix actually did not make a great decision. Should have let that guy clear Hall, and then he was going to be wide open. But, man, when you're... Two receivers in the backfield to start. They send Jeremy Bernard in motion. Penix going to take another long throw. That's complete to McMillan. And he... But, yes, it's the where the ball is coming out, the spin of the ball. Deep balls for a righty, they fall to the right. For a lefty, they fall to the left. The offensive coordinator, phone at times... But they certainly got a good one here in this guy. Looking for Bernard near the sideline, complete for another first. What if you got to pay extra for that feature? <laughs> they go to the sideline again. McMillan knocked out of bounds. Finished last year as the number one passer in FBS, leading the nation. And this time, an easy pitch and catch for Jack Westover. He's got two touchdowns today. Open touchdown. You don't see him in the screen here, but this is, we've seen that play action pass. Him of his pass interference. Play action. Penix waiting for somebody to get open. Nobody there, and he's going to scramble. And he'll throw it away. The backfield on second and ten. Penix looking left side, and Polk. Did he come down with it? He did. Well, they said defense. They meant two. offense, yeah. right? They meant offense number two. I mean, Brendan, how many times are we going to see these receivers just go up? A Polk's third catch of more than 30 yards has Penix to Odunze. And he took a hit, but he made the play down to the. And then here's the versatility of his throwing. He's got a lot of clubs in the bag.
Yeah, he could throw the fastball, but there you see. That's Ryan Grubb got in his bag here. Oh, oh another screen. <laughs> to Jeremy Bernard. Bernard slipped away from one tackle. Ski football team in its second season. Penix gonna step into one, looking for Polk downfield, tripped up on field, or just get a quick throw to get in field goal position. Penix thinking about running with it. He'll pull up and throw. Oh, Dunze couldn't come down. Drill. They stayed on their guys. I don't know. I, I thought maybe Michael Penix might just run and get a few yards to help out the field goal unit. But he did have a guy. Remember, this is about to become a Big Ten matchup. It isn't quite yet, but it will be next year. Penix looking long, and he got it complete. Bro. 27 seconds left in a fresh set of downs for Penix. That one incomplete in the direct. Penix Odunze makes a man miss. Odunze pushed out of bounds. Wide receiver room. Penix surveys the scene right up the gut. Tendon. They thought he would be the starter. They've had to pivot since then. We've got the transfer, Dylan Johnson from Mississippi State. Is that pass a little too open? Romo. Center Parker Brailsford is the one whose helmet came off, so he had to leave. As that pass is grabbed, Devin. A couple of tight ends on the field, including Westover, who's got three touchdowns already. They go to the corner of the end zone. Two first and ten. Now with the ball to 26. Penix to pass. Slings it. And another good little bit. But this isn't bad coverage by Dylan Tatum. He's there. But this is when you have a really good NFL receiver and an NFL quarterback. He goes, oh, this is open. I can throw it wherever I... Jeremy Bernard was in motion. Penix taking a shot down the right side for Odun. Quick throw this time. Jalen Polk. It's all yards <laughs> per game, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, looked like a free play, but I didn't see a flag come out. They're going to take the shot downfield for Odunze. <laughs> He's got it. Down to the. I thought it was offsides. Goes for another explosive play for 40 yards. Doesn't matter. You're just giving the guy a green light to throw the ball deep. He, he It's already green. He was going to just run it on the field. Penix. Time. Waiting. Nothing open yet. Buying some time to the end zone. Throwing it away. Jeremy Bernard was closest. Phenomenal. The left defensive end goes way up the field. So here Michael Penix Jr. has a chance to step up and slide out. Receivers don't help him here on this one. Scramble drill. So that's where I was kind of being funny. Penix on second down. For Bernard. Bernard taken out just inside the 10 by Dylan. Empty backfield. Penix short pass to Westover. And Westover picks up a chunk before he's brought down. Block for about a split second, you're going to see. So it, they think, okay, we don't have to cover him. And then he slides out. So he set HUD. He maybe gives a two or three count, gets the secondary to go. Protected him well. He's got great weapons on the outside, although it looks like he's going to be without one of those great weapons tonight. He slings one short. It's so comfortable with his eyes down, his, out, down the field and delivers accurate throws game in and game out. Open receiver Johnson, the running back, who's a group. And you have to remember, the Huskies lead the nation in explosive plays. They want the ball down the field. Michael is willing to check it down. He knew he had a free play, so he slings it. Number 98 in the neutral zone at the snap. That penalty's declined. They just blocked their tails off for the running back. Nixon in the backfield. Penix throws toward the corner of the end zone. That one is... Caught! Touchdown! Jalen Paul came away with it. Michael Penix says Jalen Polk is a sure target with strong hands. Be a little lonely. Hey, but he said it's a beautiful thing to watch Michael throw the football. Penix, a little pump fake, gets hit, and throws it over. With this Husky offensive line, Michael Penix, the running backs have done in protection. Penix throws that one in. They're averaging nine and some change per play, which is just absolutely unheard of in the game of football. Penix down the field. Odense with the catch. Minutes. Still to go. A lot, of, a lot of fireworks early. 
Play fake for Penix from the end zone and that arm strength. He's just got he just going to be the way they actually ran the play. He'll take the snap. Plenty of time. Still looking for somewhere to go with the ball and he'll throw it into traffic. It's intercepted. It's the reprieve. I mean, one play later it's like they just completed a nice long pass. Penix over the top and he drops it in. Play clock. Third down and three for Penix and the Huskies. Gets away. Penix now is going to fake like he was going to throw, and that froze the. He's got cornerback Jeremiah Irby in a little predicament outside. Irby didn't know if he should run up and try to make the play on Penix or stay back on the wide receiver. That's one where you'd like to. See. So second down and long. Washington offense. Pressure comes from the outside across the middle. And what a so his wide receiver can make a play down the field. No Jalen McMillan, but Bernard is talented, so he's stepping in now toward the end zone. Caught! What a throw! Penix Jr. dropping in the dime down the field for the touchdown. Cow coming. Yeah, love you too, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun, huh? Dude, that was how great fun. Was that, huh? <laughs> that was good. I was I like Miles, and he has a lot of reason. To be all smiles right now. Penix had to throw the ball away on first down, so it's second and ten again. Nowhere to go with the ball until now. Five first down. Penix in the pocket, and he finds Polk again. And so Polk is finding openings, and Penix is finding him. First and ten in the pocket, and that one's to Polk again. He's going to curl him. He's a really good cover corner. Penix going deep. Odunze turned around. I, I think for now, he's got to be a little more focused on this side of the ball. How about first play? Flea flicker. Penix caught. Polk into Cal territory. Up over the linebacker, Jackson Sermon, right in front of the safety. Little trickery to start. So first down, Huskies immediately into Cal territory. Penix out. Toward the left and a tremendous job stepping in at that center position. Penix now being pressured. He's going to throw on the run and just takes that short gain to Polk. Only been the leader of this defense for the Cow Bears, putting together another great season. Penix throws short middle. That's caught. And then the turn inside the five. Odunze spins. Touchdown. It's 14 yards after the catch. Just putting together a highlight reel tonight. Listen, on the middle screen here, you cannot just hit Rome Adunze with your shoulder. At Backfield, the Huskies have the ball back again. Already 52 on the board. And a size, six foot, 218 pounds. Really the total package at tailback. They fake it to him. Penix is going to throw it downfield. And he hits Polk perfectly in stride. Stop that. Are you kidding me? Michael Penix Jr. off the play action pass in great in four straight games. It had happened eight times in the hundred plus year history of Washington football before this year. Two of those times were last year. And he'll do on the clock, not the game clock, but took him a long time to run their first play tonight. Penix slings that one out short to the running back, Nixon, who cuts it up. Penix again checks down short. told us he spent his first week on the job here before last year just trying to make sure those receivers all came back. Pen and there's Penix right away to Adunze and he's you'll, you'll talk more about this motioning of just about every snap. Henry throw there to Price out there. Off the Pull the ball back and dump it. Bill Norton in the middle back tonight for Arizona. And they're going to swing it out for the easy first down. Everybody. Plenty of time. And Panix comes underneath and a Dunze run. Swing it out again. Look at the blocking down the field. Again, swinging it. So it's been a lot of underneath stuff on this first possession, but it's working as Dills. Matt 
Penix gets the ball out to the far side to Polk at the top of the screen. And Penix misfires, trying to go to Wadunze on the goal. Rodgers in for the first time, running back for the Huskies. And Penix comes back inside to Wadunze. Got enough of a block to get the eight count. Let's put it that way. Second down and five here, just over two minutes to go in the quarter. And Penix well, didn't take the deep shot, but Bernard has a lot of room. Take to Johnson, swings it out, and Bernard. And Penix all day, and then just gets rid of it. And Penix rolling out, going to get the ball out in the flat, and a nice. Right at the stadium, really near big third down play. And panics to run. Flat. And panics throws a dart. That's caught. Bellin not on the trip. Bernard's played a big role in the first half. Panics again coming back. Wow, what a catch. Fading mark. Jalen Polk with a catch. Flag down again. Goes back again. And Penix comes to Odunze. Great move on five. Cats only rush three, so Penix could stand there. And then Jack Westover back, first time in a while. And Penix going to Westover. Fumble. To the side touchdowns, and they have a shot here with two timeouts. But they're gonna have to go down the field. And Panix does, he gets a chunk. Safeties are they gotta stay deep for a squat on these routes. Out of bounds, two timeouts. And Panix goes one there, nice. He's got a hurt. Oh, wow, they've got a shot. He can get out of bounds. All right, Panix trying to find himself some time. And now launches one out there way out of bounds. Knock it down is what you're telling the guys on defense. Well, going to throw it underneath and see if it can run. Bernard. And Arizona getting tackling. And Panic's going to trust his receiver. No! Nick Johnson remains the running back for UW. Oh, Panic's pulls it back, takes the deep shot. has got his man. Cuevas all the way down inside the match of the year for Josh Cuevas, but his second catch of 57 yards. And for Washington, their 40th explosive pass play of the year. 20 plus yards, the first one tonight. And now Panix going for the big shot. No, can't. Going to swing it to him with Cuevas blocking. And Roger spins a couple of times, but then you see. And Panix will get a short game. Third and 16, four rush. Panix. Goes the back shoulder. And Panic's taking the shot. Now nope, gonna throw it away. Batting in a tight end like Jack Westover. Good throw to Ladunze. And he's pushed out of bounds by motion. Nice play to Cope. So down. Underneath to Dylan Johnson. Additionally, they're making it really hard on Arizona, changing up each snap. And there's the Penix throw again. A dart, and Bernard spins away. And will be down. All over the, all over, and now just gets. 
Quick hit. No. Knocked away and goal from the 16. Rodgers, the running back. Screen to Rodgers. Nope. My minus play. They've had a very enjoyable week in Tucson, by the way. And we're in the final four minutes and change. Panic's taking the shot for Adunze. Still going, but a high throw there. That On first and 15. Fennick straight back, delivers a dart. It's a very short completion right near the line of scrimmage to pack with rub routes and picks, if that's the case. Three receivers bunched to the right. The ball deflected at the line of scrimmage. Packers up. Two on the play clock. They bring pressure. It's picked up at Penix. Again, the ball deflected at the line of scrimmage. The communication, and then they end up bringing one with a little twist, and then they drop in coverage, and that... Under coach Mike Leach. Empty backfield, looping pressure got in the field in that last play. Now here's a free play for Penix, and he'll just launch downfield. 50-50 ball. Odunze's got it. Wrestled. It's Jalen Polk in motion. Penix pump fake, and now launches a dart down to the end zone. Caught. Top. Second and nine. Bucks show pressure. Penix gets the ball to the edge quickly. And that's Jalen Polk. Gets a block from his buddies and sprints down the side. Hard worker. 18-yard pickup. Penix back pedals and so far for the Huskies. Penix straight back. Pressure off the edge and the catch is made. In Bucks creeping up. Don't show pressure. Penix delivers a throw, and Jackson makes the catch and works in the boundary from the corner, Kyrie Jackson, right here. But he's able to get the ball out, not to mention it's picked up. And this is it. When you defend these kind of the offenses, you've got... Final minute of this first quarter. Pressure picked up again, launching for the end zone, caught, touchdown! A lot of times you think about Jackson zero, but instead it's the front man. It's Polk who gets the one-on-one -on -one matchup. And we thought Kyrie Jackson... Six yards passing already. Pressure picked up. Long throw just play. Don't do it this time. From the pocket, a dart across the middle. Odunze is... If not, look at the opening. Good job. Picked up nicely. Give him enough time. And again, with that experience and a talented receiver, it's tough to stop this offense. They throw into the bunch, and that's Odunze. Makes the catch. Skips free. Spins back into Oregon. 35 NFL scouts watching this game today, by the way. Phoenix, he's uh, the focus of some of the play 11 on the drive. Phoenix from the pocket. Has time, checks it down. Out of the backfield is Johnson. Spins free, still alive, and finally gang tack. Phoenix, batted down again. They've got... Allowed the pressure to get in. Uyangalale got his hand on that one. Phoenix from the pocket, slings it. In the slot, and it's Giles Jackson who had with McMillan not playing. It's great to see him playing. Penix on the move just flips it to the back. Oh. They're gonna throw for it. Penix, low throw, good detour. It was. Penix steps up, and as he escapes, he's gonna for the Huskies. Let's see, but he's got dialed up here. Ducks. Rush four, Penix sideline run intercepted. Odunze cut. He loses his balance at the top of the route, falls down. See how he falls down, but I think he was working inside any anyway. production at that spot. He split out to the left here on first down. Penix hesitates, tries to throw a back shoulder throw. And there's an obvious gave up the game winning touchdown. Game time touchdown, I should say. Adunze in to read the backup star, kind of sliding to a different position here as Penix lost for the end zone. Jump ball caught. Touchdown, Odunze. They were going to take a shot, and they went to the field against eight. Manning, he's trying to use his hands. He's trying to get eight-yard line. Penix looking to throw from his end zone. Launching downfield, Odunze couldn't quite get it. 
Penix on second and ten, pressured, gets it off, and Johnson came back into the backfield. Four man rush. Penix has time. Long throw over the head. So strong in the department here in Seattle. Pressure off the edge, gets it out. That's a smart quarterback. Second down, Penix launching downfield. Another one of those 50. Polk motions across. Penix has plenty of time, slings it incomplete. Play fake. Penix looking downfield, fires across the middle, and the catch out with him. And when you clear those linebackers out, look at that throwing lane. And again, he's throwing darts back there when he sets his feet. Fanciest dresser on the team. He wants to have a career in fashion when he's done with football. Penix delivers a throw. And the Bucks had the ball the last time. Pressure again. Hit as he throws, but the catch is made for a first down. And Polk clutch. Penix. Well, Adunze goes in motion, and he's muscled out of bounds. In Kamuv Adunze. I know it didn't work out, but he's lined up here trying to hide him. You motion him. Look who follows him. Not a corner. Safety comes down. Look who where he wants to go right away. Just doesn't have any room to work. Needs six on third. Morris Hill and DeVore have a decision to make. Penix from the pocket. Lofting to the end zone. Oh, over the outstretched hands of... Pressure comes, Penix delivers, caught! Penix backpedals, goes right downfield, and in traffic, it's Polk with a leaping catch! Safety, safety got over late. Watch this safety right here, just a little bit late in reacting, Evan Williams. Just enough for him to sneak that in as Williams got over late, now starts. Launching for the end zone. Forget being patient. Oh, Williams. All the action goes right. He takes a couple steps to his left. And that's just a quarterback trusting one of the best receivers in college football. Looks off to safety. Puts it up. Hopes that his guy can adjust. Remember, that's a backup corner in a game for Florence. They go after him again. Ball is thrown to that back shoulder where he can adjust. Bridges never locates the ball. And a Husky. Panics back to pass slings it to the outside wide open and a big game Westover goes in motion got the play clock winding down and get it away with two Get to the outside panics uh -oh. it's intercepted here's a look at it he showed a six man pressure bring the house zero blitz nope rushing three Panics kind of loses track of what's going on Roe Torrance reads his compromised it's just that they've handled it as well as they could Second down and eight, bringing pressure. Get it to the outside. Catch made. There's a flag out. Strong hands from Adunze. Penix. Incomplete. Other than Giles Jackson is the, the undersized guy. They cut the guy loose right there. Clayton Smith was in the backfield. This ball just got really like him and his ability to run. He goes in motion. Sling it to the outside. Incomplete. Penix to the outside. Polk makes it. Get to the outside. That's Nixon on the catch and wrestled out of it. Third and 11 for the Huskies. Penix complete. He found his man. A the 42 yard line. Penix down the middle, wide open. First down. Game 21 from the 21 now. Penix. Low. Second and seven. Penix to the near side. Laser to the field out cut coming into your living room. That's a strike. Bringing heat. Penix had it knocked away. It's picked up. Duncan 66 and McCullough 22 a zero pressure no Panics plus right got some heat pass caught on this drive Would have been fourth down instead 
Fresh set of downs. More pressure from Arizona State. Going deep. Pressure incomplete. And 10 for Washington. Polk in motion. And Michael Penix checked, so Arizona State checked to a two deep zone. Make him check it down. Polk to the outside. No. Bluffing. Underneath. Catch made. Tackle. Billingham. See that every day in practice. Penix to the outside, wide open. Penix, long time to throw, hits Nixon out of the backfield and Washington. Bluff him out. Penix, able to get it out of his hand. Seconds to go in the first half. Coming. Got it to the outside and late movement. Penix, sprint left. Penix throws it out of bounds. Serve with all the pressure, and they're showing it right off the bat. Here it comes. Bringing even more. Able to get rid of it to the outside on the hot route. We opened up our show talking about how they dealt with it. Set up the screen. Got it to Polk and a first down. And Polk comes out. out. Oh. Got a spin move. He's got a TD. Penix from the 10. Positive yards out to John for Penix and company. Play action in the flat. Johnson makes the catch. Bring an extra man. Penix got rid of it to nobody. Penix got rid of it. Polk wide open. First down Washington across the 40-yard line. It's Play action, Penix going deep over Shin Washington. Showing the same pressure. Set the screen and it's incomplete. Not going anywhere. Watch Elijah O'Neal, 15. Defensive and almost a dream scenario spins around, goes right through his hands, but it distracts. Down by four, showing that pressure again up the middle. Penix moving the pocket. Catch. Boom. Penix to the outside. Sprint left. Penix goes across his body. Caught. First uh, full speed away from the rush. Great vision. Great awareness. Taylor finishes so it's in this offense. Penix now going deep. Flag is up. To the outside. To Penix, he, he is so pristine usually on his throws. Not tonight. Yeah, this, that's a, that is a hard throw. Looking that way, ball Hit fake. Adunze. Penix. To the outside of Dunze with a catch. Able to slip the initial. Not a Penix type of night. He goes to the outside. Perfect pass to Polk. Missing for the first three and a half quarters of this game. A lot of pressure. Pass out season. Adams the motion man. Fake it to him inside screen of Dunze. Following block. This is what this Huskies offense has looked like all season. That one knocked down, but... Left. Open in the flat. Third and four for Washington. Trying to go back across the formation. Against the Cardinal. And in the red zone already. Penix wide open to the hole. Penix out of the shotgun. He's got... Dylan Johnson back there with him. This is what he does so well. Trips to the bottom of your screen. That's Odunze, the number one receiver. Wide to the bottom. Penix taking his time to get into the front that he wants. Here comes Blitz right up the gut. It's picked up by the Huskies. That pass. For six or so games. And then last week, they ran into a team that was much, much more underrated. Well, no style points are going to be given. That's for sure. No question.
On a little comeback with the Rivers Row schedule coming they up sure to do. But as long as they're in that five hole, you know there's going to be some attrition. Yep. Some other teams are going to fall. Nice game inside. Penix shoots it. High bars. High side. Penix. All kinds of time. Now running out. And that pass is airmailed. I look. And Leonard, of course, the longtime defensive coordinator for years in Wisconsin. April was tutored by Odunze. Has this receipt. Makes him one of the top five, six receivers in the nation, in my opinion. They go from the 41 of their own to the 41 nice. of the Cardinal. And that quick out is taken. They're getting it in chunks. But here's Penix. You see his eyes in the front looking like a Cylon warrior, man, from left, right. Coming back the opposite direction. Then he finds the guy, sits it down. I love a quarterback that can just. And he can spin it, as they say. Play fake. Nice. Underneath he goes to Devin Culp, the tight end. Nice. And look out. He's high stepping inside. Other than 33. First and goal, Penix. Looking nice for the fade. Ball. And it is caught. It's touchdown. <laughs> Do that, Spencer. But he's now working in comedy shops. Very nice. Oh, the Sarge has all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Going deep and oh, wide open, Jalen Polk. Flags are down. Polk will take it the distance. First by what happens. He got a twins look here on the numbers. And as he released against a bail technique, he, that, that's, that's definitely defensive pass interference. Okay. You, you can't grab a guy like that. Yep. You know, and, and here's the thing about. Nice pressure. Yep. He's just going to unload. Incomplete. Second down and 10. Penix looping nice. it long for Bernard. The setback. Penix is going to let it fly again. That pass is incomplete. That one, he had a chance to squat on that one and then sneak under there. Yeah. And I, I don't think because of the angle. Dunze lines up to the bottom of your screen here. Penix under pressure and in trouble. I think, but you know what? You got to have a response to that. Westover is that tight end. Nice delay. Yeah, and on a crossing pattern, they go underneath complete. Some of these disguised coverages uh, from Bobby April, the defensive coordinator, have been problematic. Straight blitz from the safety. This pass is thrown on. You could be a part of that show. <laughs> 21 to 19. Washington by two. Here comes pressure. Penix is flushed, and that's Westover. The intent. You bring numbers to effect. The nose tackle gets up the middle. You're not going to block him with the back. That's just enough to get Penix to move in that pocket. And defensive tackle that came in from the down four. Rodgers is in the game at running back. This pass is thrown and dropped there, and it'll be third and ten. Jalen had that huge pass, the one that's the longest in a long time around here. Trying to do it again on the road here at Stanford. Perhaps not as easy as as it was uh, at home. Mm. This throw is caught. It's beautiful. So, as an active advantage as opposed to just getting the front. Uh-oh. Nice stop. Back shoulder and it's caught. Shot. Maybe draw. There it is. Sets up for a pick play, doesn't it? They go fade the other way. It he is it. caught. It. Touchdown. Just the point pending. Jimmy, they clear this out. It's a stop route to try to isolate him with the stutter step. And then it was just thrown just a little bit too much in. And most of the pundits believe. Play fake. Out of the shotgun. Penix with plenty of time. And Odunze. Maybe we get a chance to see it. Looking long. There's space. Incomplete. Westover. The tight end in the slot right this time. And now beautiful. Oh, that's a beautiful second. second. Will Nixon the setback. It's third and eight as we open the fourth. Penix. With time, crossing route, it's caught, it's... Washington, when they play fast, they play well. Penix, oh, okay. wide open and touchdown! A lot of talent to go with it. He took a little scissors tiss. Right to the tight end, Westover. Trying to bring, is Bobby Abel, the defensive coordinator, all types of pressure. Just a three-man look here, though, Tim. Curl pattern, caught Odunze. Down he goes. At the These guys are working hard. There's no question about it, but you can just tell. Look at that quick delivery. Mm -hmm. Side-armed it. To oh, Odunze. Balls out. Balls balls out. out. It's picked up by the... Soon as the setback. Hardy is one of Stanford's best players. He's a, a great kicker. Here's Penix trying to get another... Think about that. He's responsible for that much yardage all told. 
Quick out to Culp, the tight end. Breaks one 33-yard line of Stanford. Penix again. That pass is caught. Beautiful throw to Jimmy Bedard. It's a late blitz. Nice pickup. For Odunze. It oh, is intercepted. intercepted. Wow. Taken away wow. by. Empty backfield. Low throw. Three to the right. Penix with a screen. Finds Odunze. Has a block. It doesn't take deep. Off the first down. They play with some tempo. Trojans rush three. Penix has time. Alex Grinch hearing it from some ex Trojan greats and others about the defense at SC. Penix across the middle. He finds his for opponents. Penix would expect seven points here based on the history and finds Odunze. <laughs> Penix has time, delivers a dart, is a flat. This offense playing with Michael Penix. They will fill in his story throughout the afternoon. He's out of the game. At the moment, who has a danger? Blitz possibly, he's showing. Pressure comes, Penix. Steps up, launches downfield, but it's over the head. Of but remember we said they've been rushing three, dropping eight, sinking everybody back. This time they do dial it up. First time they really... ...to that next level and that dream that he has. Penix, short throw. That's a doomsday. Yeah, he said... It. Penix checks it down to Rodgers. Gets past the man. Tybo Rodgers, he's shifty. Moves down... Penix against a three-man rush, has all day, just slings it over the head of Jalen. It's working. Looks great. Over the middle. Odunze with blockers. Showing great patience, juking deep. And when they get deep, Michael Penix is showing maturity. He don't want to have to force the throw downfield. Let those linemen get in front of Odunze and look at all that space again. With 19 more on that pass play. Husky's in the red zone. Panics. Pompe now launches to the end zone. Oh, yeah. And when he comes up, it's exactly what you want. Watch this right here. He reacts to the pump fake. So watch what happens behind him. There it is. Over. Bill said down there in the end. Yeah. Panix from the pocket. Spins free. Trying to mirror Kate Williams' creativity. Launches the end zone. He's thrown 11% of his throws outside of the pocket, but here's pressure and he somehow spins out of this But the most remarkable thing here is he's running for his life is right here He's looking at his two receivers Here's the guy that ends up catching the play the big tight end Colt But he doesn't see him until the last possible second and he just kind of let me just honest in that run game Penix under heavy pressure right as the Trojans were offside on the kickoff so they begin from the 30 with a play fake on first down. Penix launching and finally safety right here Bryson Shaw he just kind of starts to freelance there's nobody back there and you can't do that against Michael Penix. Uh for loss tonight in that first down run. Late pressure Penix guns it and it Penix Long throw wide open is Odunze. How do you ignore him? with this defense? Dude's just making inexplicable decisions. They flip it short. Polk hammered after. Penix from the pocket against three-man rush. That would uh, bracket him. They don't double him. He just fuck go, goes to the end. Penix plenty of time. Johnson on the edge breaks a couple tack in tonight, but that doesn't begin to explain it. Penix again against the three man rush, launching downfield. Giles Jackson just. Tybo Rogers back in the game. They fake it to him. Yep, right across the middle is Jeremy. Oh, time in the world to launch. Gets it underneath to Jalen Polk. But he's looking the other way. Yeah. Lofts it up in the air. And the doomsday and how big he is at 6 3. Penix again, three man rush down the middle. Just getting a hand in the middle of the defense. Watch him. He eyes it, he sees it, and then he climbs to be able to get up in the air. A great awareness. Will Nixon 
Spells him on this snap. Penix has pressure. That's a rare blitz. Flags in the second. Incredibly successful on third down. Tonight we're talking about the four touchdowns on third down plays. Across the middle. It's Westover. This to Penix sees the deep. They show blitz. Look how deep they're getting. Okay, I'll take them. That, that, that is maturity. Penix pulls it. He shows his strength. Fourth period. Get a break of serve. Penix backpedaling, firing, and Pope, as you said, enormous tonight. Penix. With Johnson working back towards him. Penix is scanning deeper downfield and just throws. Pressure comes. It's picked up. Penix has time, directing traffic, running out of time, spins and is sacked. And, and just being a robber by Kalen Bullock, one of the better safeties in the country. This time he's just kind of taken everything away by sitting there reading the eyes of Penix. Play clock all the way down at two. Penix doesn't want to score too quickly here. Flags out in the holding zone as he chucks it downfield. And enough. They're in the fringe field goal range right now for Gross on third down. Throw near the marker. I, the officials will spot it short. Fourth down. Ball brings him back. He runs a pretty good route with the ball. Execution and game management equally important here. Odunze. Or excuse me. Penix. Long throw. Pull. This is really the matchup here. Washington's offense against Utah's defense. And the pressure we saw on that last play was from Baki. Utah oh, yeah. brings four. It's a throw by Penix. Incomplete. We talked to this week. Yeah, you could tell it was not lip service. That is deep in their hearts. It's Michael Penix loads up to throw. That is a line drive. These games this year, Jason, and you've just got to throw it. And he's going to throw this one right over the middle of the field with a tremendous spiral. Yet, he was a scout team MVP last year for the Washington Huskies as Bernard team in the slat of sunlight. Michael Penix Jr. looking to the far side, and that's a wide open man, Dylan Johnson. Velcro. Anthony Britt wearing our ump cam. Penix created by Washington's offense this year, top seven in the country. It's a run, and it is what you do in November. And look at number seven right here, Dylan Johnson leading the way. Power on power. That is Sione Vake, who's got the edge. His whole job is to contain. First down pressure right up the middle. Penix felt it. Brought these linebackers up into that A gap. They want to get right into the chest of Michael Penix. Utah great at forcing third down and longs. Penix with a shot down the side. Passing offense in the country, marching again. Play action on the screen. It's a middle screen. It's Culp the tight end, and that was so cleverly designed. Let it set up. Eight yards on first down. Some rhythm for Penix. Low to time. Forever to throw right down. And you're going to watch Polk come across the field, but Bakke's eyeing him the entire time. Just a three-man rush. Good anticipation, but a must. Vision, he gets hit in the ear hole. Just slalomed by him. Penix down the middle. Of and Penix knows it when this ball leaves his hand. I think you're right. This one just did flutter. From where is the question? They'll back off a little bit, get there anyway, and he will. Field goals, no gimmies this way. Tenth play of the drive. Panics unload. Maybe the final one against Washington State. Panics pressure up the middle, flushing him to his left, and he throws. Until you hit them in the mouth, you keep going. Panics rolling out this way. He breaks that string, and now it's down drive. Featured no third downs. They're one for three on the day. Penix with time over the middle. Dylan Johnson and the tailback goes head to head for a four-man rush. And these guys up front do a terrific job. Look at the difference between setting my feet and I'll just flick it right to my running back and then he'll run over a couple Utes. Penix spins it down the middle and that one. Penix. Here comes Connor O'Toole. He got it away to the end. The best corner coaches in the country. This is the ninth straight pass play for Washington. Penix going far side. End zone. One on one. And you're going to see it here. It's going to be the inside vertical. 
Penix sees it right away, pumps to the left and knows, I've got one-on-one, -on -one. I'm going to throw it to one. I don't care who's guarding them. I don't care if they... ...to Husky Stadium with the best starting field position today for Michael Penix Jr. Scanning, surveying, and rolling now. Penix throws it. Play action. Out it goes for Bernard on the screen. He tornadoes through tackles, and Jeremy Bernard... But it's these two that don't only just catch passes. They're going to both be over 1,000 yards on the season here quickly for Polk. But look at the blocking. Empty five wide. Penix. Wide men. Great pass play for the Washington Huskies. Incomplete. Penix had to move his feet. Now he flings it down. Put it to music for him to show his enjoyment of his arm and the game and his second down six. Penix Jr. over the middle. It's Westover one more time, and Westover breaks to midfield. Empty, no pressure. Penix slings it out once again. Tight end Westover. A couple of transfers, including next from Auburn. Penix from Indiana. Michael Penix Jr. coming this way, and that's high again. Call for Penix and crew. Connor O'Toole just came off. Fillinger on pressure from Baki. This one going to the sideline, and the adjustment. Zone. Sure looks like zone. Four-man pressure, Penix gets it out west over. It's Teo Johnson alone back there. And it's a low snap, it's down on the ground. He picks it up, and down he goes. It is Baki. The catch so far in the ball game. Here comes Ellis. He got pushed aside by Fautanu. Penix the throw, an incomplete bunch. They run it a lot to force matchups out of that bunch formation. Pax deep ball has been high sometimes to... Yeah, 242 pounds of it. Penix steps aside. Throws over the middle, incomplete. Third down and eight. And it's a run. It's Pen Levani Dabuni. Second and nine throw, and he drops it off to the tight end, Devin Clark. Fourth and two. Play action, Penix. His throw is there. Don't everybody at the line. That's an incredible play. Penix, quick throw. Westover again. He's here in the month of November. He's got as many targets today as Odunze. He's on the sideline this time. Penix, cannon shot down the middle. It's a touch. Because if this is a win, that's probably the case. Here comes Ellis. Penix with time. He unshackles it. It could have been more, as he said. Third down and three for Washington. Penix, easy throw. And just down the road in Bellevue. That was a hard effort. Second down throw. This one on target. Bernard on the bubble. Bernard. Dunk. Pressure coming. Panics releases quickly, and that is right on station from Panics. A lot of movement from Utah. They're still moving as the ball gets snapped, and Panics throws this way. Here we go, fourth down and five. Panics got it out there to Bernard. Back, he's got to come up and block. He knows what's coming. It's going to be aggression. Give Cole Bishop a ton of credit because Dylan Johnson there just the offensive penalty specifically against Washington. Here comes Ellis. Couldn't get there, and it's to the sideline. Can get away from this danger. Pressure coming. Panic stating. Throw, and got it there. I grew up telling us about this kid's vision that's just different. It's just different. You either see it or you don't see it. Out of the top of the hourglass. Panic flares it out. That's Polk sidestepping one, and he is insane sensibility. 19 years and two years as head coach is here. Panic sees carnage in front of him and then slides. Looks like he is. Four man rush. Panic from the pocket. Slings it across the middle, and the catch is made by Jack Weston. Well protected. And that is complete to Roma Dooms. Over routes. Watch the corner try to run with him. First of all, he gets off the line of scrimmage, so he's got great separation. It's time for Penix to survey. Off the play fake. There's a low throw that was off. 
Got to hurry. This gets it off from the pocket. Zips it to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. That went to the inside. The defender responds. And now it's stealing with the accuracy. Great route by Odu. Penix sets up. Long throw near sideline off the hand. Receivers have had their hands in the football and have it slip through. On second and ten is a throw to the far side. Also in here. Will Nixon. Sophomore from Texas in the backfield. Penix back to throw. Again, has plenty of time. And on the move, delivers a long throw again. High creativity there. Play fake on first down. Penix will launch downfield. That's a doomsday battling, and it's in. Has plenty of time again. Downfield throw. Almost intercept in the country. Three receivers bunch left on this third and long. Pressure comes, Penix escapes. Long way to go with his legs, can he get there? Stiff arm and an athletic play. This is a, a foot race between him and a backer. You got man coverage, they're spying him. He's not necessarily a guy that gets out of the pocket a lot, but he is athletic enough. Nice stiff arm, awareness, awareness, just being efficient. Second and 23. And zips it up in the air. Tonight, I don't know if it's the conditions or they're getting confusing him. There's another throw right off Penix inside the 20. Steps up and a to the right of Penix. Keeper all the way. Penix around right. In. It's been more than an hour since Penix has had a completion. There's a very long throw again. The 6.6 in his 11 carries so far tonight. Penix. Finally, with a completion, it had been about an hour and safety switching. Just trying to affect his reads. Pressure. It's picked up. Long throw, and it's off the hands of Jaden Robinson in coverage. Here's the here's the McMillan into the slot. An okay route. He's still trying to recover from that knee. Good job in a pocket, giving him the time that he needs. That ball goes right through his hand. Play clock at two. Quick throw, making the catch is Giles Jackson, who serves the running back, is in the slot, bunch to the left. Penix is looking to his right, now flips it across the middle. It's a screen. Modunze. He'll take off again, and Penix is going to slide. As far as I can get for that first down yardage. Final minute now of the first half as Penix heaves it down into the end zone. Caught! Touchdown! See how he turns his head at the last second, loses the football, and in the process, loses a Dunze. Going for two here, Kirk, to stretch the lead. They hope to four turnover margin. They're minus two in the night. DJ hadn't had a pick in the last five games. Penix on a screen, a Dunze. And there's a hands catch for a Dunze, more of a condensed look. They spread out after the snap, and the pass is to Rodgers. Johnson in motion. Penix is looking back to his left and fires downfield to Odunze. That was right off the... Penix with a long throw. Oh, out of Corvallis. Play clock at one. Penix backpedaling. Escaping and has to just heave it downfield. What a creative play. Pete Chris, just because of the how unusual and accurate. He jumps in the air. The ball's wobbling. It's third down. And somehow the big sure. Looked like he was going to take a loss in the play. Instead, the ball near midfield. Going again on first down. Far side into trap. Help him get maximum protection if they're coming after him. They are. They pick up the blitz. And the throw is empty backfield. Penix looks to the other side and goes to his reliable. Setting up a one-on-one -on -one chance. They put everybody to the right. That's like a point guard saying, clear it out. Clear it out. One-on-one. -on -one. And the second down and long. No score opening drive for Washington. And Penix with a clean pocket zips it out. That is a line drive for Denzel Boston. For the Cougs. Such a strong cover corner is Smith Wade. Out today once more, as you said, and Penix has marked to Holson. 
At the bottom part of that bunch, they run so much. Penix looking that direction, throwing that direction. Oh, usually frames and boxes out those corners so well with that big body. This year for Kalen DeBoer and this Huskies team. Penix to throw. That's Jalen McMillan. And he is across the 40. This being the last one in Pac-12 play. Eternal bragging rights in some ways. Penix zips it out wide. Odunze breaking a tackle from Lampkin. Elite shortstops in baseball. And there's just no elevation on the ball. On the ball, it's a it's a clothesline. It is a line drive. It's whatever you want to say, but man, does it get from a lake. First down once again. McMillan in motion. Catch in stride in the game last Friday against Colorado. Here comes Stone. Penix on a screen. It's a middle screen for McMillan, and he sashays. But Jackson just does not stop. This has a different cadence than last night. Jackson at the top, Stone at the bottom of the formation. They are leaning, and here they come, and Penix got it out very quickly for Denzel Boston. The binds late in their routes, and there Odunze did that to Colson. This is a pitch out wide for McMillan. Communication from Washington State. And Al Ook to the linebacker. Penix going up high, and that's incomplete. Third and six. Penix off his back foot. He's holding. They won another game in their career here. Penix play action. Looking to go over the top. He catapults it down the field. Odunze's alone. In the minute that Lampkin falls down right here, that's about as easy as any Apple Cup touchdown could be. And now their Huskies have it from the nine-yard line. Penix under duress. And he throws to the sideline in alongside Odunze. Pressure from the safety spot and Hicks picked up by Johnson. And so Penix gets it out. He's to throw. And even though he gave back a yard, forward progress gives him the first down. And Penix zips it out wide. Odunze one more. Here come those ends. Jackson and Stone. Jackson at his feet. Penix on the roll. He throws. And it's Washington State a timeout. And he's not going to get the first down. A good rush. Look at the edge guys again. Just pinch the pocket. Just make Penix move. Don't let him stay on that spot. And because that ball gets pulled. After the game of seven, he's looking Polk's way. Instead, it is going to be Polk. And it is intercepted. Yeah, that was never yeah. very close. Cam Ward taught him what the word mid means. He's big in today's youth. Near down to three. Here we go. Stone coming. He got around the corner. Gusta was in there too. Penix loads up, takes a shot, and heaves it up. Penix throws it out wide. Where is Rome Odunze? He's right the ball for Westover. Nixon is in. Penix, flowed to his right, throws to his left. Guess what? Penix a pump. And go into traffic with Lampkin. Oh, Devontae Adams, the best in the world in the red zone. When, it was it, when he was with his team going unbeaten back to his hometown of Las Vegas next week. Penix chucks it down the field. McMillan, and it's wide. Incomplete. Game number 115. Here we go. Penix wanted Odunze, and he's hit, and he spiked. Michael Penix Jr., 90 yards in front of him. His first throw goes to the outside. Rome Odunze, and he... He is so poised, so consistent. His teammates call him the quiet assassin, and there it is on the side. Snap and clear. It's a late substitution in the secondary, this side, and it goes to Bernard, that direction, break, unreal. Washington, past midfield, Penix drops it off, it's caught, and from Washington on fourth down and one, reverberating in this stadium. Penix, free runner, and so nearly, 49 seconds. Pressure coming, Penix, the bottom, one-on-one -on -one with no help. Panics looks that way in the air 
Colson at a... With everything at stake. Penix, pressure, he's hit, and he's dropped. Holding up against those throws. Penix play action, sidearm pitches. In Take a shot downfield. Penix has plenty of time scanning downfield, still searching. They're running out of time, checks it down, and the catch is made. Of keeping this play alive. He looks to the right to a different receivers. He has Polk there. He comes off of it. Great coverage. Almost a coverage set. Penix to the perimeter. Gets made by McMillan, who gets around the corner and scoots for a first down. You can see he's got a different step tonight. It's to the far side. This is Romo Dunze, one of the elite receivers, one of the... Test the eyes of the safeties and the discipline of the safeties of the Oregon defense. Tight end Jack Westover to the left of Penix in the backfield. And a throw. Receivers missed, the, you said the miscommunication. They're blocked in downfield. They have no idea that this ball is being thrown to them. Penix. Back pedals, delivers across to Adunze. It's a first down inside. Set up in the red zone. Backfield is empty. Four-man rush. Penix will be swallowed up by the pressure. Did his knee go down? I thought so. But he over top to help. Penix looking that direction. Now goes to the other side. Throws to the end zone. Mc to try to help on any shot downfield. There's Evan Williams dropping. He still is able to out here 10 seconds ago because that's how much that Oregon drive yeah. took on yeah. the play clock. On the edge, Jalen Polk involved for the first time. Another one of those elite top number seven from running. Blitz, ball out quickly. Polk, so elusive. This is one man, makes one. Receivers are bunched, and now Odunze comes in motion across to the right. And it's looking that direction, fires to the pylon, and a flag comes out. People playing with a bit of a chip on their shoulder. Downfield for Polk, it's over his hands. Almost impressive. Negativity and use it as motivation. And it's on the move on third down, throws it far side, catches made. Now, the sticks, they've been dictating things by being positive on first and second down. And first and 15. Slant. Odunze takes a big shot. Met immediately. Game for Odunze. Second and nine. Final minute of the quarter. They bring late pressure. Penix gets it out. And it's Giles Jackson. They back out and rush four. Penix hesitates and launch downfield over the head. The overthrow in the last series. Hold two motions. Penix. Looks downfield and finds Odunze. So Penix took a look at Odunze. He was covered. Now checks it down to Westover. He in October. He kept Kirby holding his chest after that. Took a shot to the midsection. Here comes late pressure right at the middle. Penix back pedals and checks it for McMillan, who gathers it in and is knocked out. And pick this up. Now it's one on one. If you're able to pick it up, he sits in there and does. Penix has just enough time, and there's our guy. He said before halftime, Penix and the Huskies trying to add to this two-touchdown lead. From the pocket, looking for Odunze, two guys. Here, Jeffrey Bassett, who's a former safety. So you're right, it's kind of essentially a bracket, but with his speed, acceleration of football. I mean, it's, it's not one guy tonight. Here comes a reverse. Flea flicker, and Penix. Back to Odunze, who gave it to Polk, who gave it to Penix, who gets it. Penix whips it down to McMillan again, loses a tackle, gets a block, and is tripped. Really cool to see all the matching yeah, t-shirts awesome. in this section there. Penix is pressure that time, lofts it to... Quick pitch. That time Polk is wrestled three games. 6.7 per carry in a bad leg. On the edge, McMillan spins back. Oregon cut the lead to three. 
Well protected and miscommunication. McMillan. Pressure on third down. Penix off his back foot. Overshoots and it's intercepted. But they still get pressure off to the right. See that late blitz? Penix, this is the first mistake he's made. He's in. Penix. To McMillan. See what Ryan Grubb dials up on this third and two. It's going to be a free play. Ducks came off the edge quickly. And is a pass. He got something. McMillan in the backfield. One with Adams on fourth down. Penix is on the move, running out of time, and dropped. And then a miss on fourth down. The last two possessions, very different feel right now. He's pressured, sidesteps it, and just has to throw it over to the Oregon. Pressure again. Penix on the move, looking, and checks it down to the tight end, Devin Culp, who makes a man miss. One of three tight ends in this offense who can beat. This time, a pretty clean pocket. Odunze around the corner. And got Caught eight balls the first game, has seven tonight. Penix. Downfield, and the catch is made by... Wow, tough to do. First to recognize it, and then to try to stay with it. He does a pretty... Penix. Hit as he throws the ball. Penix on the move, he keeps it, and he's uh, infrequent. Bucks come after Penix, who looks downfield for Polk, who comes back and makes a catch. He beat Nico. Pushing clean. Penix, over the middle, it's to Polk again. Very close to be able to read this. He gets caught up for a second. Now he gets his head on a swivel. Where's the ball going to be thrown? So close. This a two-score game. Could be a serious dagger if they can find the end zone. McMillan scoops around the edge. Knocked out. Oregon cannot afford to let them get to the end zone. Quick throw. McMillan again. Watch and hope the Ducks can force a field goal attempt. Penix. Launching to the end zone. In, can they seal it here? Penix on the move. Has to throw it away. Johnson was covered in. Penix lobs it into the end zone. Touchdown! Quentin Moore! Has time. Short throw. Catch made. McMillan first down. The tight end, Jack Westover, the motion man. There's a flag down. Here's Jalen McMillan. On first and ten. Three minutes in. Play fake by Penix. They brought extra rushers to the horns, and the throw's right on target. Jalen Polk spins away. Jalen Polk being chased and tackled by Terrence. His teammates very disappointed. He didn't win it. Felt that he should. Dumps it off for Dylan Johnson. Better the play clock almost all the way to zero. Penix had Johnson on a check down. Passed it up. Throws incomplete. Over a linebacker. Instead, Penix doesn't see it. Escapes the pocket. National Coach of the Year. Penix off his back foot. Single coverage caught. He's already thrown for 111 on three out of four. They move the pocket, and he throws incomplete. There was contact. We need to try to disguise our coverages and confuse him and make him hold the ball longer. They did rush him, and he still got it off to Giles Jackson. By Byron Murphy, he just whiffs on the sack. And how about the move, too, by Michael Penix? Quick step to the left to see how quick that release is. He just throws darts, and the Dunze is on the receiving end, keeping his eyes downfield. Terrific play by the quarterback. Wide receiver. Behind Marvin Harrison, Jr. of Ohio State. Middle screen. It's a Dunze again. He was 67-3 at the University of Sioux Falls. Penix launches one deep. 
And it is caught by Roma Dunze. Tied at 14 with just under six minutes to go. To the Mercedes-Benz halftime report. Jalen McMillan throws back for Penix, and it's incomplete. And, and this is one that they're going to go back to the film room tomorrow, and everyone's going to have a bit of a chuckle depending on how things turn out. But this could have been a big moment, if not for being tipped slightly. It hasn't been a third down conversion in this game yet. Four-man rush, Penix fires, and a great tack tackle. Tremendous feat for a big man. It looked like Penix might have been across the line of scrimmage as he threw to Dylan Bakersfield, California, in the pistol. They faked it to him, and it comes to Odunze. Penix retraining, but still on the money. Highest in terms of degree of difficulty. And look at how he throttles down just a little bit. He turns around. Penix assumes he's going to keep going, but because of the zone coverage, Westover kind of slowed his momentum. Games of high school football did Westover. Penix going deep, man open. And it's one of the faded the previous seven. Second down and ten. They're in field goal range. Pressure. He stepped away from it. Fires and it is caught. Drives on this inside post. He triggers immediately. Penix moves in the pocket so beautifully. Throws a strike. It's nearly tipped. But Polk keeps his concentration. Added the extra point. And this is just a dart. <laughs> it's really well defended initially. I mean, Muhammad almost gets two hands on the ball. The ball is just out in front of him. Polk never loses sight of where the ball is at. It's tipped up, and he reels it in. Great poise and execute. Jack Westover moves out in motion. Dylan Johnson, the running back. It's West over the catch. All year, big part of it is he gets it out quickly, as he did there. And they scheme that as well. Jalen Pale, they've led three times by seven points. Texas is tied at each time. The fake to Bernard. Panic slot. As a result, right here, they've run this play over and over again. This time, the linebackers. Rodgers goes out in motion to the right, a five-man rush. Penix just did get it off. There's Rodgers. Made. Dylan Johnson back in a running back. They bring pressure. It was well blocked. And McMillan is 12, 13 yards off as he spins down and never really attacks the line to gain. I mean, that's just Washington. One out of four. Quick flip to Jalen Polk. Transfer from Texas Tech. And again, deliberate. They frequently run the play clock down a lot. In the end zone, touchdown! Jalen McMillan! The middle, he knows where the void is. The safeties are late in communication. Nobody takes the middle. Penix anticipates the throw and threads the... 70 yards and eight plays. Penix, a perfect 33-yard line. They're right on the edge of field goal range, trying to take the first two-score lead of the night. They fake the short one. They throw for West. Two touchdowns in the conference championship game against Oregon when he was limping throughout. Here's Jalen McMillan. Penix, nine for his last nine. He's thrown for 341. And now he takes off running again and slides. Ago, a long time ago. Mm -hmm. What a catch, boy. This year, Newton has committed running back. He goes out in the flat. Penix looked at him for a moment. Now scrambles in this direction. Is under. So now it's second down and one. Two and a half to go. Lofted for Bernard. Jeremy thrown here in the third quarter and 12 in a row back to the end of the first half. They blitz him off the corner. And they have the answer to the other side, but Tybo. Penix, another design run. Not going to see Grub, the offensive court on the other side, to step ahead. Boy, it didn't look like they were ready for it. That looked like a design play by Watt. Five man rush. Plenty of time for Penix, and it's a little bit too long. Before that contact, Penix. As calm as can be, throws it for two committed by Texas and one for Washington, the Huskies plus one. 
And Penix getting greedy. He has a man open. The ball's in the air forever. And it's incomplete. But surprise tonight. The penalties are 9 to 2. 9 committed by Texas. Oh boy. They're having some fun now. Penix throws it away. Coach at Sioux Falls. So Grubb joined the staff for $2,700. Five-man rush, and with some tenacity, Penix had to check it down. And it hardly missed all night, but one for his last five. And pressured immediately, got it off behind the line of scrimmage. They picked it up. Second and 11. Penix, sideline. 6.20 to go in the college football playoff semifinal. Short set, and it's West over again. Jalen McMillan, good blocking. Penix was thrown for 398. Trying to get above 400, and he's on target. The Dunze goes right behind him, and the ball, like usual, down the field, perfectly thrown. Example he is to people watching around the country they have their own demons to deal with. And he brings pressure on Penix, who got away from Jalen Ford, but throws in the leading rusher, who goes in motion to the left out of the shotgun. Penix, he throws to the near side, caught by Jalen McMillan along the near sideline, and he's out of bounds, down to five. Low snap, he handles it knee high, rolls to the left by design, throws it out in the flat to Will Nixon, who's Rodgers on the left side of Penix. He's in the gun. McMillan went in motion left to right. Penix looks left flat, throws. Rodgers has it. Bounces off a tackle as a first down and more down the sideline. The line of the country. Michigan won that each of the previous two years. Penix throws to the right side, and it's incomplete. And as play resumes, it's 7-0 Michigan. Seven minutes to go first quarter. Second and 10, Washington to the Michigan 42. Quick pass to Roma Dunze, their leading receiver. And he goes down the far to the line of scrimmage. The running back remains Will Nixon. No Johnson. Shotgun snap to Penix. He moves away from the rush and throws behind Nixon. Michigan. Snap to Penix. He goes straight back. Looks to his left. Steps up. Throws to the end zone too high. Try to get it to Odunze. Michigan fans making a lot of noise. Penix claps his hands. Takes the snap. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Takes off running. And slides down to the right. They're two out of three on third down. Third down and five. Back to pass Penix. To the right, McMillan at the line of scrimmage makes the catch and can't break it. Penix out of the gun. Johnson is in the game to his right. Penix claps, gets the snap, throws far side. Todd at the 30 and sliding ahead to the... Out of the shotgun again, Penix. Johnson's on his left. Back to pass Penix, looking deep. Fires deep and it's caught at midfield for a first down. 46. Ball between the hash marks. Michigan showing blitz. They rush four, but they still get pressure. Penix rolls left and throws in a coverage, and it's incomplete. Three to the left. Penix out of the gun. Claps a couple of times. Takes the snap. It's a four-man rush. He has time. He throws. Caught short of the first down. And receivers over there now. Nixon on the left. Out of the shotgun. Four-man rush. Penix back to pass. Throws as a man wide open, and it's incomplete. Right back within a touchdown. Dylan Johnson is at the running back spot to the left. They fake it to him. Panix under duress, and he'll be thrown down for the first sack. Dylan Johnson remains in the game. To the right of Panix, out of the gun. They fake it to him. Panix drops back in the end zone, surrounded again. Throws, and it is. Shotgun again for Panix. Drops back into the end zone. Throws sidearm short. Caught by Dylan Johnson. He runs across the 20 to the 20. No running back. From the left hash mark, a short set by Penix and a quick throw to West over the tight end for a first down. The running back on second and eight, 325 to go in the half. Nixon went in motion to the right. The throw is over the middle to Odunze. He has it, and he's inside the 35. Penix with Nixon, the running back to his left. Penix dumps it short for West over. A lot of running room inside the 25, and then he stood up and driven down. 10, 222 to go. Ah, uh, the shotgun, uh, fake to Nixon, and uh, a throw in the left flat is in left. And the strength is the left, no running back. Penix moves up out of the gun to say something in the line. Single coverage out wide for Odunze. The snap to Penix, he lobs it up for Odunze, who was stumbling as the ball went in on his left hip. 
Three receivers to the right. Widest is Westover, the tight end who came in motion. Penix drops back, throws incomplete. There's a flag. Penix Johnson on his right. The snap to Penix. Design run for him following Johnson and nothing doing. Johnson on his left hip. Three receivers, two wide to the left. Penix takes the snap. Pump fakes. Throws. Touchdown. Back of the end zone. There is a Tybo Rogers is the running back out of the gun. Penix. Rogers shuffles to his left. Off the left hash mark. A pump fake and another. And then Penix hit as he throws. And it is. Johnson remains the running back. Out of the shotgun, snap to Penix, quick throw to the left, it's caught on the outside by Roma Dune. Out of the shotgun, Penix fakes the handoff to Johnson, sets up a little screen to the tight end, Devin Culp on the left. He breaks a tackle with his own 45, runs over a defender near midfield and final order. Well, the Huskies on the move. Shotgun snap to Penix, fakes the handoff, throws over the middle, it's deflected and flutters incomplete. Two tight ends in the game. Penix looking right. Throws over the middle, caught by Westover, but he swung down. Dylan Johnson, the running back on his right. Westover in motion from right to left. Snap to Penix, throws to Westover. Caught near side, 31-yard line. Penix out of the gun, fakes a handoff to Johnson, throws it out wide to the right. Caught by Jalen Pope, up the near, the far hash marks, and out of the shotgun. Penix in motion, McMillan left to right. A fake to Tybo Rogers, a screen for McMillan. He got Penix. Five receivers. Westover in motion to the right. Penix, a long time to throw. Airs went out deep, looking for Polk along the near sideline, and it's too long near the 15-yard line of Michigan. This is Odunze in single coverage, at least for the moment. Snap to Penix. Nixon stayed in the block for a moment. Now a deep throw down the field, and it is incomplete. Two receivers tight to the line on either side. The snap to Penix. He throws, and it's too high. Again, he had an open receive. Tonight he was 29 of 38 against Texas. Five wide receivers spread the field. Short pass to West over the tight end. Caught it to the 15. Nice move to either side. All close to the line of scrimmage. Michigan blitzes. Quick throw. Caught near sideline. Jalen McMillan. Nicks out of the gun. Odunze goes in motion to the left to make it a trio. Wide open receiver. Nixon. He dropped the ball. Guards downfield. He's been off. But all he needs is one accurate one perhaps to tie the game. He drops back out of the shotgun. Throws. That's on target. But it's broken up. City. Dylan Johnson, the running back to the right. They fake it to him out of the shotgun. Penix pump fakes, lobs it up, has Odunze, and an over-the-shoulder catch. Go. Rough call, especially at this juncture. They're back near their own 20. It's an inside middle screen. Colson, the linebacker, showing blitz. He comes on the rush. Penix retreating, dumps it over the middle. It is caught, and Johnson... They're on the right hash mark, going from left to right here in the fourth quarter. Snap to Penix, he fires short to the right, caught. But the receiver, Polk, retreated, caught it at the 30. Retreated and gets stacked, goes widest to the left. Coming in motion to the right is Jalen McMillan. The running back is Dylan Johnson. Shotgun snap to Penix, looking to his right, throws deep down the field. Adunze's open again, catches it at the Michigan 40. And goes down near the 20. Eyes wide open. Ryan Grubb, the coordinator from the 32, first and 10. Back to pass Penix. He's pressured. He steps up, dumps it. Incomplete. Look like receivers to the short side right. Shotgun snap to Penix. Under duress immediately. Low throw and a good catch by Will Nixon. That's go for their last nine on third down. Penix takes the snap. Throws off his back foot and incomplete. Looking for Jalen McGunn. Michigan crowding the line. Seven men across. They bring the pressure on Penix. He throws under duress. There's a flag down. He lofts it up. Adunze got tackled at the five. Westover goes in motion. Widest to the right. Shotgun snap to Penix. Johnson stating the block. A throw intercepted. Picked off by Mikey Sandra still. And he's bringing it back. Crossing the field on the far sideline. He has blockers. Sandra still down the far sideline. Rosengarten can't get him. He's down inside the 10-yard line. It's open. Jalen McMillan comes in motion to the right out of the shotgun Penix. Four-man rush. He dumps it down to Polk, cutting across the middle. He's across the 20 and tackled at the 20. And away the big play from the Husky. Shotgun snap to Penix. On second down, he fires off the hands of McMillan. They're at the 24-yard line. Third down and three, 2.58 to go. Michigan leading 34-13. Shotgun snap to Penix. Throws over the middle. Caught by Will Nixon, but he's retreating. He lunges for Michigan defense, and John Harbaugh brought him back to 
Be the coordinator of the Ravens. They have the best defense in the NFL. Pass over the middle incomplete. And titles, three straight wins over Ohio State. Three straight appearances in the college football playoff in their first national championship in 26 years. Penix throws almost intercepted. 10 Washington to their own 31 off the left hash mark. Out of the gun, Penix. A blitz coming from his left. He gets hit as he throws, and it's nowhere near receiver. Just threw a minute 53 to go. Penix out of the shotgun. Newton is the running back to his left. Here comes a blitz from his left. He throws, and it's incomplete. Through 